like, hey man, this your boy Raw Wade. I just jumped off the porch with Dirty Glove Bastard. Yeah. Heart been broke so many times. I, I don't know what to believe. Know what to believe. Uh, mama say, Rod Wave, welcome to Off the Porch, man. What to do, man? Yeah, appreciate you being here, man. I've been working on this one for a, for a minute now. Yeah, I appreciate you having me, bro. Yeah, yeah. You just got off tour. Um, how were some of them shows? It was lit, bro. Yeah, yeah. Especially the Florida dates. You feel yeah. Florida, Georgia, mm -hmm. Carolina dates. Yeah, He's yeah. Lit. You starting to see your fan base growing with each uh, project that you put out? Yeah, definitely. Like, like I had, we had a couple um, West Coast dates from there, like um, mm. Sacramento, Oakland, man. Them people turned out there. You feel yeah. Me? So they're fucking with you out there in Cali definitely now, huh? Fucking with it, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Love and um, you're originally from St. Pete. St. Petersburg. Yeah, yeah. St. Petersburg, Florida. Um, you don't hear too many rappers coming from out there. So let me ask you, how would you describe life growing up in St. Pete? I mean. I don't know, like from, like just coming up, you feel me? Like it's different, bro. It's, it's different than anywhere else that I've ever been. Yeah. You feel me? And I see that, I know that's that now. Not like, like not that I be on the road. Mm -hmm. I see it. St. Pete, like it's different than anywhere I've ever been. You feel me? So just coming up in it, you feel me? Kind of made me different. You know yeah. what I'm saying? When I go around people, they feel me? I'm different. I talk different. You feel mm -hmm. me? I say stuff different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's certain stuff I don't do, you know what I'm saying? Still, I think lame, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So St. Pete made me who I am, you feel me? So yeah. You feel that, that's where anybody, wherever you come from, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Yeah. And uh, you live here in Atlanta now, though, right? Yeah, I got a spot in Atlanta, you okay. feel me? So you still got a spot in St. Petersburg, too? Yeah, I'm in, I'm out there in the O. I'm oh, you're in Orlando. Orlando. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so how does Atlanta compare to St. Pete or Orlando, then? I remember mean, when I first came to Atlanta, bro, I was just like, you know what I'm saying? Shit, beautiful. Like the <laughs> lights, you know what I'm saying? The highway, you feel me? Nah, I was here for a couple months and I just hated it, bro. Like the traffic, <laughs> too congested. Yeah. And I got, that, got, got out there in Cali. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh yeah, this shit, beautiful, you feel me? I thought I'd seen <laughs> something, but comparing it to Atlanta to St. Pete, like it's like St. Pete times 10, like it's bigger, yeah. more people. You know what I'm saying? The music scene different, you feel me? Yeah. The business, everybody got their own black business on, mm -hmm. you feel me? Everybody working for themselves, you feel me? Yeah. So, you know, yeah. it's different. Yeah. Um, when you moved out of here for those couple months, what did you miss the most about Florida? Oh, the, when I first got out here, people weren't really hip to me. So oh, okay. I, I could say what I what I missed the most, you know what I'm saying? Just the love and the mm. embrace, you feel me? From mm. I was more you feel me? Any, in, in, any with my fans, you feel like I see them in the mall or yeah. in the stores and stuff. And I say probably the weather, you feel me? Oh, yeah. Because, you know what I'm saying? The weather in Florida is unpredictable. Like, yeah. like cold one day, hot, raining <laughs> and storming, you feel yeah. me? I just love that. Like, I love just waking up in the storm, man, you feel yeah. me? Like, out of nowhere. Like, yeah. I just love It'll that. be storming one minute, next minute yeah. it's sunshine. You yeah, can't definitely. even tell that it rained. Definitely. And the food different. Like, in mm. Atlanta, everywhere you go, like, they just selling chicken wings and shit. Like, I don't really like that, bro. <laughs> yeah, that was one of the first things I noticed when I came up yeah, here, too. Yeah, it's chicken like, everywhere, man. <laughs> everything's fried out I, there. I, I like chicken, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I'm Get a little like crab spots and you know what I'm saying, seafood and shit like that. Yeah, man. yeah. Nah, I got you. I got you. Um, earlier this summer, you released your uh, project uh, P PTSD. Yeah. Um, why'd you choose that title? I don't know. Like it's just when I, like when I heard when I like when I finally sat down and I listened to all the music. Hmm. You feel me? Like you know, music come from somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Especially my music, like yeah. from my feelings and my thoughts. You know what I'm saying? So at that time, I was battling with something that I deal with, you feel me? When I was m making that music, like, hmm. that music, like, that's like my deepest, darkest project. Yeah. You feel me? If you compare it to Hunger Games 1, Hunger Games 2, Hunger Games 3, yeah. you feel me? PTSD, like, it's like the darkest time of my life. So, yeah. you feel me? I just named it that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when people hear it, they can understand, like, Damn, I, would, I wonder what make him say this. So I wonder mm -hmm. what made him feel like that, you feel me? I just go up and down. One day I feel like this, one day I feel like that. You yeah. know, I find myself avoiding thoughts. Hmm. You feel me? I don't want to talk about too much and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, I named it that, though. Do you suffer from a PD, PTSD? That's what they try to tell me. Yeah. Yeah. Where does that stem from? Just uh, being in the streets or? I mean, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's really deeper than that. You know what I'm hmm. saying? It's just stuff that you deal with. You know what I'm saying in your life, and I just find myself think about it all the time. Yeah, you feel me? Mm -hmm. shit I've been through, feel me, shit that's coming up, shit I go through on a daily basis. So, 
Yeah. You feel me? But I wouldn't say it came from no street shit. Like, okay. Feel me? Uh, yeah. Do you feel like there's a lot of other people that may be suffering from it that are just unaware that they are? Yeah, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? But if you really go in and you look at the definition of that shit, you feel me? Like, like at first I was in denial. Hmm. Like they were trying to tell me that when I was in JDC. Like, hmm. like every time you come in JDC, like the lady, she um, like your first two days there, yeah. she she asks you all these questions, say like how you feel about suicide and hmm. how you feel about this and that. You feel me? And then I, she mentioned to me then, I was like, this is crazy. You feel me? I ain't got no goddamn. You feel me? And I want to say like up to last year, I had looked into it like what it really meant. Yeah. You feel me? So I feel, I definitely feel like people suffer from mm. it. They just don't know. Yeah. Everybody do because everybody go through stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's one of them things where they try to say, you know what I'm saying? They try to put a cap on something everybody got. You feel me? They try to put, you feel me, or put a leash on something everybody got. You feel me? So yeah. how you going to try to sell, sell some medicine to something everybody got? Huh. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Everybody go through stuff. Everybody avoid thoughts. You feel oh, yeah. me? So it ain't really, everybody deal with that. So Yeah. No, nah, that's real. That's real. Um, that's good. It w was recording this project. Was it therapeutic to you? Oh, recording anything for me is therapeutic. Like, because as you can tell, like in my music, like it just be stuff that I be going through. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's very like a, personal. Yeah, I'm very terrible at communication. Like I can't hmm. talk with people. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just the slightest thing. You feel me? Yeah. Make me shut down. So, but making music, it do nothing but listen. The mic don't do nothing but listen and pick up whatever you saying to it. Yeah. So, making music is therapeutic for me anyway, cause it's the only yeah. thing I listen. They ain't gonna say nothing back. Only thing that's gonna talk back is the headphones. You feel mm -hmm. me? So, I love making music, dog. Like it just get so much off my chest. You feel yeah. Me? Yeah. And um, you said that this um, this project you got deeper than you ever did before. Yeah. Um, Why did you decide to open up so much on this project? I mean, I really just got comfortable. Like, if you compare mm. my very first project to my latest one, yeah, you feel me? I was kind of scared to, like, mm. you know what I'm saying, show people, like, you know, open up to fans. But once I seen, like, they love it when I open up, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I get out and I meet these people, like, bro, I'm going through what you're going through right now. I'm like, damn, yeah. boy, watch this. You feel me? <laughs> so it's like, it helped. Like, the further I get and the more noticed I get, I can open up even more. Yeah. Because I feel uh. accepted. Hmm. You feel me? Even if it's just this little group of people who accept me and them other people feel like it's something wrong with me, you feel me? These This group of people, bro, these fans right here, these people who really love my music for popping the loner, yeah. the PTSD, the heart on ice, the heart for sale. Yeah. Just every time I come, more people jump on it and, and they feel how I feel. So that helped me open up like I'm being accepted, yeah. like finding people who feel how I feel, you feel mm -hmm. me? So. The further I get, the more I open up, you feel me? Like yeah. this project coming up. Yeah, feel me? It's like opened up even more about my past, about uh, what I'm dealing with now. Hmm. Feel me? So, Did it surprise you that so many people related to it? Yeah, yeah, but I can say like from the beginning, that's all I really wanted was some hmm. people to for people to feel me. So that's why since the jump, I just been you know what I'm saying I don't really I don't really think about the negatives. Yeah, just the fact that it's people who like my music and I'm straight, bro. You yeah. know what I'm saying I'm happy with that. Yeah. You feel me? And every day, another handful of people jump on it. Mm -hmm. So you feel me? Yeah. Just the fact that people can hear my music and feel it and like it. Yeah. Like, this is something I created, bro. Out of yeah. my mind. I just, and people love it. Mm -hmm. So it just got to understand that's a good feeling, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, this is something I just whipped up. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And people love it. <clears throat> so that's just a good feeling. You feel me? Yeah. With this uh, project being so personal and deep, um, were you nervous or anxious at all before you put it out? I'm always nervous for okay. a project, a song. I just cut my phone off. You yeah. Feel me? Because I, I want people to understand me and I want people to accept me, but at the same time, I'm scared of rejection. You know mm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm scared of people being like, oh, that nigga trash, man. You <laughs> feel me? So I, I be scared of that. Like, I'm scared of failure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I just be cutting my phone off because it's like I'm here now. So yeah. I got to keep going. Yeah. I can't just lay back and be like, you know what I'm saying? So I got to keep going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's talk about that lead single, uh, Popular Loner. Uh, I th checked it today. 10 million views. Just hit on <laughs> I uh, even YouTube. Know that. Just crazy. hit 10 million. Uh, when you recorded that, did you know it was going to be a hit? No, nah, like, I don't really think about it like that. Huh. I just be making, you know what I'm saying? I just be in my feelings, making music. Yeah. So I ain't really think about it like, 
I think all my music good, you feel me? Yeah. So I don't really be like, oh yeah, this the one. Like, I ain't gonna if I if I don't like it, I ain't gonna drop it. Hmm. You feel me? Hmm. That's why a lot of people say, bro, I don't really. You feel me? Because if I don't like the song, I ain't gonna put it out. Yeah. I done made bad songs. You feel yeah. me? I just ain't gonna put it out. Hmm. I got you. Um, how important is it for you to be known for your music and not like your the antics or you know cloud chasing or you know all the other stuff that these other rappers are you know are doing? Ah, uh, bro. Like if you really if you really pay attention to that shit, like that shit don't last at yeah. all. Think about any nigga who done got on from that clout mm -hmm. or whatever that shit called. That shit don't last, but them niggas be here and they be gone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, but when you hear a song, you feel me? And you can remember where you was at when you heard it, how you felt when you heard it. That shit gonna be forever. Yeah. You feel me? Look at niggas like Boosie. Mm -hmm. When you hear that, yeah, we finna set it off in this motherfucker. When that shit come on, bitches gonna go crazy. Oh, yeah. You feel me? Cause that shit gonna all that. That nigga gotta, that nigga gonna always be good. They gonna always get bought. Always gonna be straight. You yeah. feel me? Because they's talking about that real shit. Yeah. You feel me? That known for his music. You feel me? He ain't known for no other, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Some other shit he went through, but other than that, he ain't go out. Like, if you look at other niggas who got on for that, niggas here today, they gone tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like, they, you know, they got to keep up with yeah. those antics. To, it's you a know, lot of niggas, but you know they face, but you don't even know their music. Yeah. You see what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, you got. Me and follows, but I, don't, I can't sing one of your songs. I can't sing three <laughs> of your songs. Yeah. You feel me? You can't get booked and motherfuckers coming out there. Because you know what I'm saying? You just a face. Yeah. I don't want to be no face. That's why I don't. That shit ain't in me anyway, but yeah. I never even stoop down to that level to even be. You know what I'm saying? That shit lame. Yeah. Nah, I got you. Uh, another song that uh, fans are really gravitating towards is uh, Heart on Ice. Um, what type of emotions did you go through when recording that song? Same shit. I made Poppy Delon and Hold On Ice the same night. Same night, really? Huh? Yeah. Hmm. What were you going through that day? Impressive, <laughs> man. I don't even. It was like four in the morning when I made that shit. Yeah. I want to say. Um, I think I was going through it with my lady. That's hmm. it. Okay. But you know, when I go through other shit, like it made me think about other shit. Like, damn, I got so much shit going on. Yeah going through all this shit. Damn, I just went through that. Like, when this shit gonna stop? You feel me? Mm -hmm. but I ain't got nobody else to talk to. You feel me? I just talk to that music. Yeah. Are there any songs that you've done that are really tough for you to listen to? Like, what you mean? Like, that I don't like? Well, no, that's oh, just, just like too it. personal or it brings back bad memories or, you know, it brings back that pain that you were going through. Yeah, when I hear that, I got a song called Bottom Boy Survivor. Like, when I hear it, like, it, Hmm. Make give me chills, like, hmm. cause you know it's a song to other people, but they don't really know how I was feeling when I made it. Hmm. You know, so when I say, knew that you were lead, cause they all do. I was there when you needed me, but when I needed peace, I couldn't call you. Hmm. You feel me? Yeah, that's real shit. You yeah. feel me? Like when I need something from somebody, like you know what I'm saying. But I'm always here for people. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So when I hear that shit, like, yeah, I got you. Um, on oh, no love, um, you say that you'll never love or trust again. Huh. What happened? <laughs> no, nah, man, that's real. Like, you feel me? Was that a bad heartbreak or just bad breakup or oh, deeper no, than like, that? Because even from the even before I even got my heart broke, I was already fucked up. Hmm. I don't know if it's just like I put my ear to the screen and like you hear so many stories about these girls or these yeah. niggas and how they be crossing you and be holding, be playing with you. I was scared off real, hmm. you feel me? So my first ever relationship, I was like, no, hmm. you feel me? Hmm. And the, the female, they try to call you insecure and all this shit, but they don't really, you feel me? They don't really take the time to think if I was in your shoes, you know what I'm saying? He, he is a dude in this society this time. Oh, yeah. I think about how he feel, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So all the, all the odds that's against you as a girl, as a female, hmm. but they selfish. Hmm. All of them, they all selfish, you feel me? So, hmm. but yeah, it wasn't no, really no breakup that made me think like that, you know nah. what I'm saying? That's just how it is, yeah, you feel me? Yeah, it's how it is, you know. That's any that's for anything. Like, if I see you take your car down the alley and you and you come back and say, Boy, I, I got four flat tires when I went down there, yeah, Nigga, I never drive my shit down there. You crazy, <laughs> you feel I'd be a fool to take my car down there. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Especially then you tell your home, but yeah, man. Your home, but telling me that I got two flat time when I went through and somebody bust my window. Yeah. I ain't gonna never take my shit down that alley. Hmm. 
Hmm. You feel me? Yep. I'm already fucked up. So here come this girl telling me, let's go down the alley. Hmm. What? Never. You crazy. <laughs> you feel me? They think something wrong with us. Yeah. Especially for people I say, all right, fuck it, let's go down the alley. And you still shit on me. Hmm. You feel me? You still hmm. getting full flat top. Hmm. Yep. I feel you, man. I feel you. Um, on True Story, uh, you got this line that uh, a lot of fans have been retweeting, uh, saying that Jeezy told us Trapper died, but then told his son to go to college. Yeah. Do you feel like a lot of rappers are misleading the youth like that? It ain't. What people, what people misunderstood about that is some people don't want to hear the truth. Hmm. People scared of the truth. You see what I'm saying? So a nigga like Jeezy, he done lived it. You done yeah. been there. You know what come with this shit. Yeah. You feel me? So for you to get on a song and tell niggas, trap or die, you know, some niggas that's living like that, so he motivating the others, but for the yeah. other niggas, you supposed to tell them, hmm. hey, nigga, you ain't for that shit, don't even, hmm. you know what I'm saying? So for the kids and shit that's coming up, go to school, man, do something, because yeah. you ain't going to get nothing but death or jail out of this shit. Huh. You feel me? So what I was telling them, you got to tell both sides of that shit. Yeah. You feel me? You can't just tell a nigga, trap or die. Mm-hmm. You got to tell a nigga, you know what I'm saying, the whole thing, nigga. Yeah. It's fucked up. It's fucked up both ways. So when I say Jesus told us, Trapper Dabba told his son to go to college, like that's all the people like the negative shit, the bad yeah. shit they find. You fuck. So when a nigga get on the song and talk about some real shit, they don't really get as much love as uh, that. Huh. You feel me? They don't really get, you feel me? They don't really get known as that. Like niggas in the song talk about Perkies and Mollies and shit. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. I talk about the shit because I know that's what's going on. Yeah. I want to say, what are you on that Molly? I ain't never said, bitch, I, you feel me? <laughs> that's how it is. Yeah. 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 And as your following's growing right now, um, are you embracing being a role model to like the youth? To at least your younger fans? Role model? Yeah. I ain't never You know really, they're looking up to you. I ain't never really look at it like that. Huh. You feel me? Yeah. But it's... I don't know, like, I'm still growing too. Yeah. You feel me? I just yeah. turned 20. Hmm. So, yeah. like, you're looking up to me, but I'm still looking up to other motherfuckers and shit. Yeah. So. Yeah, because once you get in that spotlight, you know, uh, these fans love to imitate rappers, you know, yeah. they, they, they definitely look it up to you. Yeah. So. I mean, shit. I don't know. Yeah. I got you. Um, all right, this album isn't all about pain. Uh, you do some celebrating on uh, Calabasas. That yeah. features E40. How'd you link up with him? E40? The legend. Like, like my old here is like, they, they, like, them and E40 go way back. Oh, yeah. Okay. Like, booking them and bringing them to Florida and shit. Yeah. So, hmm. like, E40 was like, you feel me? It was like a no brainer. Like, okay. he's one of the big homies. So, yeah. I just did a song with him and shit. You feel me? Were you a fan of his music growing up? Uh, yeah, like, my old head, my, like, my pops and shit put me on his music. Yeah. And he put you on his album too. Huh. Yeah, I got a song with him and T Grizzly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, did that surprise you when uh, he asked you to jump on his album as well? No, nah, not really. Like, you feel me? We swapped it out. Like, he got one on mine, okay. I got one okay. on okay. here. You feel I me? got you. Yeah. I got you. Um, Jeezy that, told us Trapper Dava told his son to go to college. <laughs> That's real shit, bro. Yeah. You feel yeah. me? Like, that music, the music game is fucked up. Yeah. You mm -hmm. feel me? But you can't blame Jeezy. Mm -hmm. I wasn't blaming him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, especially when he said, you know, trap or die. He was yeah. just getting out of the trap, you know? Yeah. yeah. Nigga, you made it. You got to tell a nigga, you got to teach a nigga something else, man. Mm. We already know about this trap. It's mm. a trap. Mm. It's fucked up. You mm -hmm. got to teach us something else, dog. Yeah. You got to teach us how to get these buildings, yeah. how to open up, how to say fuck, fuck working. Mm. Go get your own shit started. We got to learn something else, bro. Mm -hmm. now, that's real right there. You got to teach us, nigga. We all looking up to you, like yeah. you just said. We all looking up to you. Yep. Gotta teach us something else, but I already know about the trap, nigga. Yeah. You feel me? My people, your people, our people. That's what we do. You gotta mm -hmm. show us something else. Yeah. That shit ain't gonna last. You just filling up the prison. Hmm. Gotta teach us something else, dog. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, back in May, you performed that Rolling Loud in Miami. What was that experience like for you? I ain't think I was gonna. I, I thought I was just gonna get up there to promote my music. Like I really had like people out there like. Raw right way, you feel me? <laughs> like it was some niggas on the stage, some nigga in his drawers, he was rapping and shit. Man, like when I walked up on the side, it was like, ah! Oh, really? Man, who this nigga is in his drawers and shit? I might need to take my shit off, man. 
You feel me? But they was screaming at me. Yeah. You feel me? So I was like, oh fuck. Hmm. I ain't know. Like, I don't really play the Insta- I don't really play the social media, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I used to, but now I just got so I ain't I don't be knowing like people be hmm. hyped up about my music. Like, I ain't yeah. know. Hmm. So I ain't I ain't even know popular ones that ten million. That's a lot of fucking yeah. clicks, bro. Yeah. Song I got clicked ten million times. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's people going back to it too. Back you know? to it. Yeah. Over and you over. Me? Over and hey, you heard about it? That you feel oh, yeah. me? This thing got clicked, bro. Mm-hmm. So was that the at Rolling Loud? Was that the biggest crowd you performed at yet so far? Hell no. No. I had a show in um Gainesville. Probably hmm. was but Rolling Loud. Yeah, that bitch was. Yeah. I'm tripping. Yeah, Rolling Loud. Went <laughs> I was going to say, where'd you perform at Gainesville? Yeah. Was it the stadium or something? Nah, it was just a different vibe, bro. Shout out Gainesville, bro. But yeah. Rolling Loud, man, I love Rolling Loud. Like, it'd just be rappers and shit walking around. Oh, yeah. I seen, like, Trippy Red and his broad. Hmm. Osiris, Young Blue. Yeah, I mean, niggas just walk around. Young know, little TJ. <laughs> Like, damn, you feel me? Yeah. Bro, I'm telling you, bro, just like the other day, bro, I was just a fan of music. Huh. Bro. Now I'm just backstage with these niggas, bro. That shit is crazy. I was feeling, bro. Yeah. I swear. Yeah. And now you earned it, though. You yeah, know? that shit, that shit be blowing me. Yeah. 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 That was like an eye opener for me, though. Mm. Like, but now you're yeah. about to get on tour with uh, Kevin Gates. My boy. And these aren't club venues. You know that, right? Listen, <laughs> this is what I just told you, bro. When I was. A, Bro, I was in eighth grade, bro. Hmm. I was um, they had this app, and I was trying to find a Boosie song, and him and Boosie had a song on there. And I heard this, if you get in the way, I will not. Pre-. I said, who the fuck is this? So I looked him up, <laughs> and I heard that um, uh, interesting lifestyle, love the rich and famous okay, for Tennessee. Yeah. I got this mm, for gripping bangers. I said, who the fuck is this? I was in eighth grade, bro. Huh. So ever since then, yeah. I've been listening to this nigga since eighth grade. Mm-hmm. Bro, I graduated like two years ago, and I'm on tour with this man, bro. I'm supposed to be flying out of LA, sit down and talk to him about about the up and coming project. You feel me? Huh. This shit crazy to me. Yeah, yeah. No, I. Stiff like this shit don't even feel real, bro. Hmm. On tour with this man, I listen to this man. I was a kid, I'm my favorite rapper, bro. Yeah, real yeah. Shit. Have you had a chance to meet him face to face yet? No, like we talked. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't yeah. never. <clears throat> I don't even know if he know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when he when he DM me, yeah, I don't know if he seen it, but you know you can scroll up and see, nigga. All 2015, I was hitting him up like, <laughs> bro, I fuck with you, bro. Yeah, it's yeah. like that over here. Yeah, Yo, uh, we living. Like, you feel me? Yeah, I was hitting him up. Yeah, you feel me? So that's crazy, yeah, bro. That is crazy. I had unseen a couple of things. Oh really? I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, damn, I was acting like a, you feel me? A fan, man. <laughs> yeah, that's real right there. And like I mentioned, these aren't going to be club venues. These are, you know, bigger concert halls and some arenas too. Yeah, you ready for that? Get the, get on the big stage like that? I mean, I ain't even think about that part. I just mm. be thinking about like I'm gonna be in cities I never been. I love to travel. Yeah, you feel me? So, but the performance part, like, and it hadn't really hit me until you just said that. <laughs> yeah. But you know, you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna just do my thing. Yeah. yeah once upon a time. Motherfuckers, and I was on the stage that was the biggest one I ever been on. Nobody knew me, so yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. just levels to this shit, bro. Yeah, feel me? got the crawl for you all. Yeah, yeah. I think that tour starts in October, right? Yeah, I'm one. Yeah, go get them tickets. Go get them tickets. <laughs> um, do you still get nervous before you perform? Every time. Every time. Yeah. Every time I be nervous, bro. How quickly does that nervousness go away once you start performing? As soon as them lights flash. There you go. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Like, okay. They accept people. me. Like, these are my people. Okay. Yeah. I can open up in front of them. Yeah. You feel me? But all the niggas in the back, fuck them. You know, it's these my people right here. You feel me? So yeah. it's lit. Yeah. Um, you mentioned Gainesville. Um, is that your favorite city to perform in so far? That man, Gainesville. I love going back to Tampa. Okay. Orlando be turned. Yeah. Down south, they turn Florida, mm. period, man. Oh, yeah. Florida holding it down for a nigga, bro. Yeah. I swear, bro. I got to shout out Florida, man. Georgia, Carolina. They be turnt, man. Yeah. And it's going to get bigger. So I can't really put a cap on games, really. Yeah. Feel, cause but so far. So far. My fans, period, be turnt yeah. wherever they from. Hmm. You feel me? Because that music, bro. Oh, that yeah. Shit, they shit relate pain, to it, bro. man. That shit deep. Yeah. You feel me? Real shit. Yeah. That's how you get diehard fans, you know? Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, let's talk about the Florida rap scene. You know, it's on fire right now. Why do you think so many people who don't live in Florida are tuning in to what's coming out from there? I mean, Florida big, bro. Florida just a, you know what I'm saying, a place where people travel, people go yeah. to school. Mm-hmm. So you got no choice but to pay attention to Florida, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. People come to Florida and they travel, retire, move away from their city to get the, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. the music scene, it's always been wild open. They just needed a spark. Yeah. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I yeah. got you. All right, there's a lot of talent coming out of St. Pete and Tampa right now, too. Hmm. What's it going to take to get the spotlight shined on the scene down there? Shit, man. I don't know. Like, I don't really. I just be doing my thing, you feel yeah. me? Trying to do what I can mm-hmm. make the spotlight, you feel yeah. me? No, I think you're doing a great job, though, you know? That's all I can do, yeah. big bro. Just <clears throat> try my heart. Yeah. You know usually, what I'm saying? Usually Niggas grow, man. Yeah. It's a lot of talent in Florida, period, Absolutely. man. Absolutely. Yeah, it usually just takes, you know, one one person to blow up from, you know, a city yeah. to kind of get the eyes on the rest of the talent that's yeah, there. Yeah, niggas don't really be realizing that. Like, I be on, sometimes I be on the gram, like, I be seeing niggas, niggas be sounding real good, bro. Hmm. I be wishing, like, damn, I wish I could just sign this little nigga, hmm. bro. You hmm. feel me? But I still got to do my part first yeah. before I step down on the nigga, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But but that is a goal for you to start a label and uh, develop some talent yeah, yourself? Yeah, because... Before I was making music, I was a fan of music. Okay. Big fan of music. Yeah. So I know, like, oh, that nigga trash. You feel <laughs> me? I know, like, yeah, this nigga raw. You feel yeah. me? That's how I know, like, I, I ain't going to never. Like, if I feel like the music trash, I ain't going to put it out. Huh. I'm a fan of music first. Yeah. That's what really be wrong with niggas. Like, they just be putting out music because just mm. the, they want what come with the shit to hold mm. them. I really just got tired of listening to other niggas' music. Like, I want somebody to say how I feel. That's what made me start making music. Yeah. So, yeah, eventually, bro. Uh, yeah, I want to sign a couple of niggas, change a couple of niggas' life, bro. Because yeah. I was wishing a nigga come and save me. Yeah. Save me. <laughs> but a nigga ain't going to come save you. You just got yeah. to grind. Uh, you built your own lane, you know? Definitely. It's more rewarding, too, you know? Definitely. And definitely last longer as well, you know? Way longer. Because if it goes bad, you can only blame yourself. <laughs> That's it. I can't, you feel me? Yeah. Yeah, um, let's talk about this next project you got coming. You got a title for it? Not yet. Oh no, I really got two projects. Like, damn. Huh. I don't know if I wanna. I was thinking about either PTSD two, hmm. Hunger Games four, hmm. or Ghetto Gospel. Hmm. You feel me? Now, is the music different on these projects? Like a different theme? I want to say like Hunger Games four and PTSD are like the same kind of shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's why I kind of said I probably. Cause it ain't hunger games full no more, you know. It ain't more hunger games like yeah. This shit deeper than that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But ghetto gospel, it's like more harmonizing, more singing. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So with more singing and more harmonizing for me, I can mm-hmm. only add other rappers. So okay. I'm, I'm other, on this project, like a lot more like collabs and shit. I guess you okay. could say, like, yeah. cause you know what I'm saying. I don't really, I don't really be on that collab and shit. Hmm. Yeah. I just, you know, what I'm saying, I don't vibe with niggas like that. To put a nigga on my song, I don't give a fuck if you is bigger than me. You feel me? Hmm. Yeah. But yeah, I want to say on, on on Ghetto Gospel though, got a couple nice niggas on that, bro. Like two of them. Okay. Two Anyone you can niggas. reveal? <laughs> like I said, bro, I be getting rubbed the wrong way by the nigga, so I might snatch a nigga off tomorrow. You feel me? So I don't want to just nice. say a nigga name. You feel me? Nigga might you feel? I don't know. I got you. I got you. Um, how long have you been working on this project? About a week. About a week, does it? Okay. Yeah, I just um, I reunited. I reunited with my engineer. You feel okay. me? So I just went and bought a bunch of um, cause I just got off a tour. You feel me? Yeah. So mm-hmm. I just went and bought a bunch of um, music equipment for the road. Like I got a studio at my house, but yeah, I just bought a bunch of shit for the road. So we've been recording and shit like hotels and shit like mm-hmm. that. You feel me? Cause I be having music stuck in my head. Huh. If I wait too long, it just disappear. Huh. You feel me? So I be so this is helping me build my catalog too. Yeah. You feel me? Four, five songs a day. Yeah. You feel me? For about a two, three weeks straight. Hmm. You hmm. know what I'm saying? Then from there we just pick the best ones. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. So you don't write your music? Nah, it don't start off as like me sitting down writing. Like yeah. it might come out to uh, 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 hmm. uh. first I get the harmony. Okay. Then I add the words. Okay. Yeah. Uh you feel me? Nah, I make the words make sense. Yeah. Because, you know, it come off as, like, just how I'm feeling. Hmm. 
Yeah. So if I'm gonna feel lovey dovey, I might say, I would, uh, 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 uh. then I might say, how would you feel if I told you that I thank you to one? But if I was feeling mad, I might say, how would you feel if I told you I'm going to get my gun? Yeah, because you play, <laughs> you feel me? So it's just however I'm feeling. Yeah. But the harmonies, them bitches is like freestyling. Like, them hmm. bitches just going to come. Like, yeah. how, the, how the song going to sound, yeah. that bitch just come out when I hit a beat. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Then I take how I feel and put the words in there. Yeah. So for a song, for me, it probably take like 15 minutes. Oh, really? That's it? Hook, ad-libs, verse, <laughs> ad-libs, last hook, ad-libs. Huh. Done, feel me? Well, you ain't playing around. <laughs> Ask a nigga. I ain't capping. You <laughs> feel me? I ain't playing, so. Yeah. Where's some of the producers you've been working with lately? Uh, TNT. Pop that shit up, TNT. Okay, yeah. Uh, eight, eight, that probably Tango. Yeah, uh, Tango That's my hard. boy right there. Uh, Jit Faye on the beat. That's who made Calabasas. Okay. Um, It's a lot of niggas. Yeah. But it's I can't say on this next project coming up, it's a bunch of niggas like I ain't know, like. Hmm. Different sounds and shit. Yeah. Just uh, producers emailing you beats? Or nah, you... I'll be on YouTube. Oh, you be pulling Don't tell YouTube. nobody. Okay. But I still be on there because <laughs> I don't want a nigga to see what a nigga do. Like, he's sending me beats. He might say in his head, let me send some beats he might snap on. Yeah. But I don't want to do that. I want mm-hmm. a different kind of sound. You don't want to be boxed in. Yeah, I don't want to be boxed in. So if I can get on YouTube and I can look up, you feel me? Da 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 type beat. Da 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 da. I ain't heard a song, but like, damn, you hear that nigga beat? <clears throat> Let me type this nigga name in, you feel me? Hmm. So I, that's why I still, niggas don't know, that's why I still be on YouTube because niggas try to send me beats or come play me beats and they try to keep me in a box. Yeah, send you Rod, Rod Wave type Yeah, beats. Rod Wave type beat, <laughs> piano, dark, mm-hmm. singing. Nah, bro, don't try to box me in like that because how I'm going to expand, how I'm going to get better doing yeah. the same old shit. Yeah. You feel me? So that's why I still be on the tool because yeah. Nigga don't know if I'm listening to his shit or not. Huh. He just dropping a tight beat. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. What do these producers that you um, hit up on YouTube, what do they say when they're like, well, shit, Rod Wave's hitting me up? Yeah, but at first, <laughs> niggas ain't really know me. Niggas oh, was okay. like, Rod Wave. <laughs> Shit, fuck it. He paying for it. Get it. You feel me? <laughs> and a month later, nigga be like, what the Man, fuck? Man, I should have charged him more. <laughs> Not even that. Niggas just be like, hey, man, I got some more. You like that yeah, shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come listen to these. I'm like, nah, huh. buddy. Just keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. Just keep dropping that fire need. shit. I'm coming. Yeah. Just don't know it. You feel me? <laughs> Only thing that is, I be having to get to them niggas quick. Mm. As soon as I come up with a song, hey, call that nigga. Tell him. It's my shit. Huh. For somebody to buy. Yeah, before someone else takes you it. You feel me? Because it ain't private. That's the yeah. only bad thing. So, you feel me? Like, uh, I want to say, feel the same way that happened to me. Like, a couple of niggas had that beat. Oh, really? Yeah, huh. a couple of niggas had that beat. Hmm. So. Yeah. I got you. Um, all right, Rod, what else you working on? You know, you got a tour coming up. got a new album. It's all coming, man. More music. More pressure. Like I said, man, since the beginning. It's just yeah. day for day with this shit. Hmm. Making music, touching the fans, keep yeah. going. Yeah. You feel me? Ain't really, ain't really nothing too crazy. You yeah. feel me? That's why I try to say I just want them to focus on the music, bro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cause you know my life crazy, my shit. But I ain't really no, I ain't finna be going to chase cloud and yeah. I, you know what I'm saying. So if you bored, I'm sorry. Music dropping. <laughs> you feel me? I'm posting pictures. What? I'm already outside my box doing that, going live. I won't even do that. Yeah. You feel me? So. But it was dropping, bro. That's all I can say. Yeah. And then just go watch them niggas while I'm making my music. Then come <laughs> back over here when it's time to drop. <laughs> I got that dope, man. I got that. <laughs> you going to drop before the end of the year? Yeah, yeah. Okay. In a couple of weeks. <laughs> you playing. This going to yeah. be, what, your third project this year? Or did you drop Hunger Games in December? Damn. Is it, nah, this probably going to be one. Yeah, this is my second project. Yeah, yeah I think you I dropped Hunger, Hunger Games, Games 3 in December. December yeah. Okay. It's Damn. close, though. Yeah, yeah. It would have been. Yeah. You feel yeah. me? Third project, one, three projects in one year. I ain't even think about that. That's a productive year. And a couple tours, I think three tours, right? My best projects, too. That's crazy. Huh. I want to say. This has been your best year so far, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but when I was, since I was a kid, 2020, I always thought about it like 2020. Hmm. 2020. So you think you're going to have even bigger year next year? I swear to God, bro, since I was a kid, 2020, that shit always been stuck in my head. Huh. I swear, bro. Mark my words, bro. 2020. Hmm. I don't know what that shit mean, but 2020. Yeah. Where do you want to be at in the game in 2021? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 2020. Right. Anything else you want to add, Rod? Yeah, man. Follow me on, on IG, man. Get me to 300, man. 
500, man. Where you at right now? 296. Oh, you'll be at 300 before this airs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, get trying to just, I'm trying to just, you feel me, just get a bunch of people, dog, who feel how I feel, you feel me? Yeah. And once I get another, like, nigga like Drake, he already got his fans. Ain't no new fans for Drake. <laughs> He's the same niggas since we was kids listening yeah. to this nigga. Same people. So yeah. once you get up to a nigga like him, got your same fan core, six, seven million fans, core fans. Yeah. You feel me? Can't do no wrong. Can't go wrong. They yeah. love you. Put out that music. Yeah. So I'm just trying to build my empire, dog. Yeah. Watch people who feel how I feel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man.